Hey everybody, I'm Camo Dave and I am cheap, okay? And I, you know, what I wanted to do is try to find the cheapest okay phone, okay? Um, there are a lot of cheap phones out there, a lot of cheap phone plans and, you know, uh, you get what you pay for. So I always look for something that's really cheap but also quality, okay? Now, granted, there's no way you're going to buy a cheap-ass smartphone that's going to be as quality as, say, like, a, you know, an $800 iPhone or a $400 Samsung or a whatever, you know? I mean, you know, you pay for an expensive phone and, yeah, you know, there it feels heftier and, yeah, you know, I'm not going to argue that a cheap phone and an expensive phone are the same quality. No way. But can you buy a real cheap phone and still get a quality product that you can use and for most for most types of things and I say yes now one of the things I did uh, I'm kind of new to smartphones I'll be honest with you you know I've never needed a smartphone I've always used a regular phone phone I've had a cell phone for many years but it's just a crap phone and it's just a phone and I do all my internet junk on laptops or tablets or whatever but a couple years uh, earlier last year I decided to you know upgrade and so I got this this was a boost mobile phone okay I got it for free at Best Buy. It's the bottom of the barrel. It's an LG. I don't know the model number, but, you know, it works great. It works great. But the problem is, and I pay, what, 35 a month for this sucker. It's a Go phone. It's, like a, it's, a, it's not a Go phone. It's a, you know, pay-as-you-go phone. It's a, you know, the cheap phone. You don't need a credit check. Anyway, the problem I ran into very quickly with this is it's only got eight gigs of memory for apps and and stuff like that so once you know if you just use what's installed on it which are the standard android google crap stuff you'll be fine but if you want to put anything else on it like facebook or messenger or uber or whatever you're going to run into memory issues with it okay and that's why it was free okay <laughs> okay then i then i decided okay what can i get that's cheap that I can actually use, that will actually let me put stuff on it. Well, go to Walmart, and uh, there's a thing called Straight Talk at Walmart, okay? And so what I got was this phone here. I picked this up about two months ago, three months ago. This phone was $29.95, okay? And here's what it looks like. That's the phone right there, Straight Talk Wireless. It's the ZTE Majesty Pro Plus, and it's got, here's the key, it's got 16 gigabytes of memory, okay? That means that the first eight gigabytes will be the Android operating system and all the Google apps that come with that. And then you've got eight more gigabytes for apps, you know? So you can put Facebook, you can put Waze, you can put Twitter, you can put whatever. You know, now, you know, at least a nice sampling of stuff. Now, are you going to be able to load it up with hundreds and hundreds of apps, like some expensive phone? No. But you can at least put a dozen-ish apps on it that you probably use every day, okay? So you got to look for this. It's the ZTE Majesty Pro Plus. It's got, and look for the box. It says 16 gigabytes of memory right smack in the middle, Okay. Okay, this phone, as of February 2018, which is when I'm doing this video, was $29.95. I have used this phone. Now, see, I got, a, I got an extra one there, just in case I lose this. If you, you know, I've used this phone for a couple months now. The battery power is good. It, 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 you know, it, it, it's great. I mean, I can talk all day on it, you know, off and on, and I don't have to keep recharging it. Um, and it works great. I mean, you know, it's not the top of the line phone, but uh, but I have had no problems with this. The battery seems to be seated well. It doesn't turn off and on by itself like my other, like this Boost Mobile phone does all the time, the LG. But this phone I think works really great. It's it's sturdy. It's you know it's great. Now you know, do I want to buy the case for it? <laughs> do I? What is the point of buying a case for a twenty nine dollar phone? Yeah, the case would probably cost the price of the phone in some cases. <laughs> well, that was a funny joke. But, you know, not really. You know, if, if I bust this phone, if I lose this phone, I've only lost $29, okay? So I just carry it around. It's fairly sturdy. I've never had a problem with it. I, I have a little, my own little case that I, made, you know, bought for $7 at the, the store there. And it works great. But I'm just saying, if you want a cheap phone, and I mean cheap, 
Okay, $29.95 for this ZTE Majesty Pro Plus with six, make sure it's the 16 gigabyte version because there is an 8 gigabyte version and you don't want that, but you can get it at Walmart. Okay, Walmart has the exclusive deal. They're the ones that sell the straight talk, okay? Go to Walmart, pick up this ZTE Majesty Pro Plus, the one with 16 gigs, $29.95, and then you can, then you go online or buy a little card and you can get the uh the, the $35 plan is the one I've got it's only got 2 gigs of um data but if you use the 2 gigs up you don't they don't cut you off they just slow you down and you know I use Wi-Fi for the most of my data if I'm watching Netflix or something I'll just cl clue into Wi-Fi so I mean I don't use a lot of data you know if you're if you're going to be using a lot of data and on your cell plan yeah you want to maybe get the four forty five dollar one but even that's a, a steal so it's a twenty nine dollar phone and it's thirty five dollars a month and you can you can either pay with a little cards you can buy at Walmart or you can go online to Straight Talk's website and, and sign up and just have them hit your card every month. But if you really want a quality, a pretty good phone that's really super cheap, I highly recommend the ZTE Majesty Pro Plus at Walmart Straight Talk. Okay? You know, there are other cheap phones like this, but they don't have the 16 gigs of memory for your apps, okay? This is like the cheapest 16 gig memory phone that I've seen for such a cheap price. And it seems like a pretty good phone. I put this through its paces over the last few months, and I have no complaints about it. It's a, it's a solid little phone. And if you lose it, you just go buy another, right? <laughs> it's cheap. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Dave's Camo Dave's super cheap phone. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Vlog under.